fantastic we are doing great here we have a lot going on today it's gonna to be a good time I'm actually getting ready to head out right now I'm gonna go upload the vlog and then I've got a special place that I need to stop by to get something situated for a future day of vlogmas I'm so excited go work out all the details for that gonna go get the vlog uploaded gonna go mail off some more of your guys's packages check the mail all the things Gonna be a good time. Let's head on into North Pole and do all the things. So today, it's cold out today, guys. I know you just saw me run through the snow at 20 below, but today it is roughly 30 below here. The noise in the background, that's my boiler running. Actually, let me do so. I need to go tune in the boiler floor temperature. So this is always a good time when it's super cold out like this or starting to get super cold, because we can have 40, 50, or even 60 in an extreme, um, is I'm gonna go change my floor temperature. They go adjust it a little bit. I just turn some stuff on. Uh, sometimes you just have to do some seasonal calibrations. I, I'm a control guy. I can make this be automatic, but I like to tinker. That is the temperature of our floor in our house. So I just turned on. I just, uh, I have a valve I can put on here, but I'm just manually adjusting this to be able to set our floor temperature. Let me see here. I think I want it just a smidge warmer than that though. Just a smidge, so that should bring it up just a little bit, should slowly rise, there it goes, nice. Dialed into about 110 degrees now, I think that's pretty good. I forget that so many of you are new to the channel, and we so appreciate each and every one of you. Like, we heat primarily with wood, and then we have a boiler as our backup heat source. The boiler goes into a mixing valve and goes into the floor so we we mix the temperature so that you don't burn your feet because we have radiant floor heat so like i said we're right around 110 ish degrees i think in the floor maybe 115 it's kind of hot between 110 and 115 and that seems to be comfortable for our home wood stove does not keep up this guy will turn on to supplement there's stripping that i forgot to put in so i got like this little hole in this back this back area uh on the weather stripping on the door so i'm like shoving paper towels in there to keep because just that little pinhole can make a huge difference when it's this cold out so all right all that's good we've got some neat stuff planned for today uh but guys it's cold so we're gonna probably ease into it and maybe we'll talk a little bit about how we like when it's cold and what we call cold is probably different than cold for you so when we're starting to get 20 below and zero i'm just going to generally speak i don't want to speak for all lessons but just generally speaking when it's 20 below uh, or colder, we would call that cold here. And that means that we just limit outside things and we try to do more inside things. Just These are just some of the things that we have to deal with when it gets quote unquote cold here. I think that my wife went to town, she went to go upload the vlog, probably the one that you just watched previous to this one. Let me get back to the kids. I am uh, just stepped away from work to go watch them for a little bit while she does her stuff. Let's go cut to her and see how she's doing. I did give like a time slot. Fuck that time, maybe. Show the imagery and everything. Awesome. Yay, I'm excited! Awesome, thank you. Okay, 
Let's go look at the calendar, see what we're doing today, okay? Over here. What day is it? We are going oh, to do yeah. this one right there. It's be random acts of Christmas kindness. I think you're gonna clean each other's rooms. Who do you want to clean your room? Audrey. Nice. Who do you want to clean your room? <laughs> um, Evelyn. Evelyn? Well, <laughs> then how's Garrett's room gonna be done? We'll both clean his room! Hey, but that's so fair, cause Garrett's- You're right, oh, you know what? Then maybe Daddy will clean Garrett's room. Oh! And then Garrett can clean my room. No! Come on, get set, go! Productive got it done and look what came in the mail. Boom! Another stack of Christmas cards. I'm so excited to open them, to read all your notes, put them up on the wall. Thank you guys so much for sending us cards. It really is just super special to be on someone's Christmas card list and we just, we appreciate being on that list and that you guys send us cards. I love it. I'm gonna go get these put up on the wall. Something special that's actually going on tonight. We're gonna meet up with my mom. It's a yearly thing that we normally do and it's called the ladies christmas sing and it's where all the churches in the area get together and just have kind of a night of special music for ringing in the christmas holiday it's kind of just like a neat community get together where all these ladies from all all over over the interior um get together and they they share in music and do specials and carols and have goodies and snacks and all those things so we're gonna go with my mom. Let's go set these uh, cards up and get on with the vlog. Let's actually check in on Bert and see how he's doing. I think he might go out and try to start his car. It's very cold out, so let's let's see how well he does there. I think I made an epic fail and forgot to plug my van in last night. So, let's see if old Bessie's gonna start. Uh, 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 okay, can't quite get in my vehicle. Uh. All right, this is not a good sign. <sighs> Try not to break the handle. Ah, got it! Oh, there's no way. Oh yeah! Okay, it's not happy. Victorious! That's another thing, sometimes having a new vehicle will hurt you. Uh, the older the vehicle is, the more it's broken in, it'll start when it's 30 below zero without being plugged in. It's an early December morning, no one but we are. We look out the window as it's starting to snow. And I realize as you had me quick we are getting ready to head to the annual ladies Christmas sing I got the whole clan I don't know if you can no completely pitch back hey so we are going to go drop buddy off with Bert um, and they're gonna actually work at Bert's mom and dad's house real quick I got he I guess he's got something he needs to fix over there well we're at our ladies Christmas sing so we'll bring you along we hope you enjoy it this is kind of one of our yearly traditions so excited all of the cool Christmas music all right let's head that way 
ready to go to the ladies sing? We're all ready to go. My folks here real quick, they have had a zone valve. One of their heating zones is not working in their house, which is not good when it's this cold. I tempted in yesterday, just kind of overrode it and just choked the flow down just so they had some heat and it wasn't crazy, but I'm gonna go fix that right now. The girls are gonna go to that ladies Christmas sing tonight, which should be fun. This knocked out. You guys wanna see something funny? Hey Siri, what is the coldest city in the United States? According to worldatlas.com, Fairbanks, Alaska has the coldest average winter temperatures of any city in the U.S. <laughs> Fairbanks, Alaska, coldest city in the U.S., which I think they're referring to the Fairbanks North Star Borough because North Pole is right next to Fairbanks, like roughly 10 miles away. I would say from locals, North Pole is almost always colder than Fairbanks because North Pole, so North Pole is always cold in Fairbanks. In my experience, maybe sometimes not, but pretty rare because North Pole sits a lot lower. We live in technically the coldest city in the United States. I don't really think about that. Now, uh, North Dakota, I guess, is the second coldest city in the United States. I think North Dakota probably has more wind than we do. Off down below, let me know if you're in North Dakota and if you think that North Dakota doesn't feel like Alaska, it probably does, because I think it's a very close second. All right, let's get the zone valve replaced. Come on in, come on up, come on over For the merriest time of year Come on up, come on in, get together For a good time, smile my dear Come on in, come on up, come on over It is extremely late, way later than what I was anticipating, but we had fun, it was a good time. I will share with you guys that um, during the during the event, um, they were going around and like asking if anyone wanted to share their favorite Christmas memories or uh, testimony or anything like that. And the lady who's hosting it comes up to me and was like, here, uh, you know, she like pointed it at me and that I was needing to, you know, talk or whatever on the microphone in front of everyone. And it's been a minute since I've actually talked. I know this is kind of weird, but it's been a minute since I've talked in front of a group. And I got super nervous, super, super nervous, Draw, drew a complete blank and uh, was like, ah, Audrey, you want to say something? But it made me like analyze and I could feel myself like get super red. It made me think of I should always be ready to give an answer, like always have something on my on my heart or on my mind and be very mindful about that and just be ready to do that. And I just wasn't ready to do that. And I felt like, I felt super awkward and I felt really embarrassed because I couldn't, I couldn't talk. I couldn't say what I wanted to say. Like I've had so many things that I could say, but I just couldn't find that. So knowing, in your heart, in your brain, and being really familiarized and really ponderous of things, I think allows you to be able to give a better response. Anyway, that was that. But I still had fun, it was fun, it was always a neat experience. I wish there was more of a uh, participation. There's normally a lot more specials, but maybe we'll get up there next year. I know we weren't able to pull it out this year just because I just, I just didn't, I just didn't. So I wanted to um, let you guys know about the giveaway winner awesome name tags for the stockings um, from Two Daughters Heirlooms. If you haven't checked them out, be sure to go check them out because they're fantastic. Um, is Amanda Spencer. Amanda, message me. Um, I'm gonna DM you on Instagram and let you, go, let you know that you won and you can send me your address and the name of everyone in your family so we can get those stocking tags made for you. Yay, I'm so excited. So thank you everyone who participated and entered. It's awesome. It's a great shop to actually support because they do such a great job. They're a sweet family 
and they just, I mean, they create amazing, amazing things. So anyway, I think we're gonna call this one a night. Thank you guys so much for watching. Please give this video a thumbs up. It really helps out our channel. You guys are killing it with the Vlogmas, killing it with the views. We appreciate it, it's encouraging to us. So that way we know that when we're making this content for you guys or doing these videos for you this Christmas season, that you guys are appreciating them. So it's super encouraging to be able to see you guys watching them and giving us good thumbs up and all the things. Anyway, enough of the rambling. I'm gonna get the kiddos in bed because it's super late. We've got a full, fun, jam-packed day tomorrow. Now do my chore. I'm actually gonna go do my chore and I'll tell you what it is. Let me show you. That's generally not my chore. So I'm gonna go fill the wood trolley so we can have some more wood because it is cold. All right, so we'll see you guys in the next one. Thanks so much for watching. Bye. For watching, see you in the next video.